G'day, Mick at Diggermate here. One of the most versatile and compact excavators on the market is the EZ17 by Wacken Neusen. This machine is perfect on construction sites or in landscape projects or even any domestic or urban area where space is limited. And right now, I'm gonna give you a review on the machine and show you how to use it to be most effective even if you've never operated an excavator before. Want the best rates on mini excavators and tight access earth moving equipment? Go to diggermate.com and get it done with Diggermate. The EZ17 is a powerful machine suitable for a variety of tasks and it's widely popular for tight access and domestic use. The digging depth of this machine is 8 feet and the reach is 13 feet, although, a little disclaimer here that those Measurements can vary. The EZ17 can come with a longer dipper arm and depending on what sort of hitch and bucket combo you have on this machine, those specs will vary just slightly. And now for the width, which is the most important spec on any tight access machine because it really determines whether you can fit down the side of a house or fit through a gate. Now, with the EZ17, the tracks and the blade can become wider or narrower. This one is set up at, the, at its widest, and the width right here is right on 1300 millimeters. This machine over here has its tracks in and the blade in, so we can just measure this from the, the tracks right here. And this one here is 990 mil. So now for the height of the EZ17, the height's another very important spec. Now on the spec sheet for this machine, the official spec says the height is 2.39, but I have got 2.35 here. Uh, the, the ground may be playing a contributing factor here. But of course, with the EZ17, you can take the rops off as well by undoing some bolts here, bolts there, and you can take this whole cabin piece off, which allows you to get under a carport or get under a garage to get out into a working area. And finally, the zero swing tail design right here which means the rear of the excavator is not hanging over the back of the tracks. So when you're in a really tight access location, maybe you've got a house on one side and a fence on the other and you're working, maybe digging a trench, it means if you turn the machine around, you're not gonna scratch up or damage the rear of the excavator, nor are you gonna damage the house or the fence that you're working nearby. Now inside the cabin of the EZ17, you can see that Everything has been designed with ergonomics in mind. I'm six foot two, and I've got no issue with space in here. All the controls are really comfortable. The armrests are in the right place. Visibility is good outside the cabin, and you've even got the open panel above here if you need to see what's happening above you. And one thing I really like about this machine is the controls for the tracks can actually be operated with your feet as well, which is unique for this size machine. So in the event that you needed to track forward and back while using the controls, you've got the ability to do that. Now to operate this machine, it's really simple. To start with, to, you need to have this red safety up to start the machine. The key's down here. Once it's started, you'll push that safety all the way down. It must be all the way down to operate the machine. Now, the joystick controls to start with, on your right side here, back and forward on this joystick is up and down on the boom. Left and right is scoop and dump, or the crowd feature on the bucket. On the left side, forward and back is in and out on the boom, and left and right will spin the entire machine around on the tracks. So now down here at your feet, you've got uh, two controls. The one on the right here, which flips over and goes left and right, would control the attachments. So this, this controls the hydraulic flow to the attachments. We don't have any on at the moment, so we can just leave that one like that. On this side, this pedal here controls the slew. So this is the boom, left and right, independent of the machine which is really handy when you're working uh, alongside tree, uh, fences or up against houses. Over here is your dozer blade controls. This controls your dozer blade up and down. Now, the important safety feature of this is you should always have your dozer blade planted down in the ground while you're working. It makes the machine much more stable and much safer, especially when lifting up large loads. And now to get the machine moving, 
your controls are right here. So two forward and two back, one for either side of the track. You can turn the machine like this and uh, get to wherever you need to go to get digging. If you want to go faster, there is a, to a tortoise rabbit function over here, which just means if you push that up, the machine's going to go faster. It helps you travel a longer distance. If it's in the tortoise mode, it's going to go slower and it's uh, more precise. Obviously, one of the greatest features of this size machine is its power to size ratio. And to get it to a tight access machine, the tracks will come in and out, and so too the dozer blade wings will fold in and out as well. Now, to reduce the tracks in, at the moment they're on the outermost setting, what you need to do is put the bucket on the opposite end to the dozer blade and get the machine off the ground. So I'm just turning this around, I'm gonna push the bucket down there, I'm gonna push the dozer blade down, so now the machine is off the ground. Over here, is the control which switches this lever here from dozer blade controls to the tracks control. So if I just push that down like that, now I control the dozer blade, you'll see the tracks come all the way in. So from there, you can drop the machine on the ground, bring the dozer blade up, and you're good to go in the tight access configuration. Of course, you also need to put the wings in on the dozer blade as well to make this as tight as it can possibly be. With the EZ17, this is the bucket combination you'll get on all machines. So you have a 300 digging bucket, a 450 digging bucket, a ripper, and the 900 mud bucket. Your 300 bucket is the go-to trenching bucket. Most trades will need a 300 wide trench. The 450 bucket is your general purpose digging bucket to dig bulk amount out of uh, any area. And then your 900 mud bucket is for moving the bulk material once it's dug out. Now the difference between these two is that there's obviously uh, teeth on the 450 which makes it much better and easier for digging and there's a blade on the 900 bucket. So moving bulk materials is great but also leveling off and finishing off final trim you can use this bucket. Then you've got the ripper for ripping out roots, concrete. It's got a heavier base on it so you can leverage things out a lot more so it's a really tough, durable tool to have in the bucket set. In some instances, there is a requirement for a narrower 200 millimeter wide bucket. So if you need that, you can ask for that. And in some locations, we can provide it. But in general, this is the bucket combination that will do the majority of the work you need done. On our most premium range of EZ-17s, we have this hitch and bucket combination. This is the Heli Tilt Tilting Hitch and A2 bucket set. With this combination, the machine will allow you to tilt the buckets forward and back and left and right. This makes the operation much more efficient and easier to do more intricate jobs. If you get the opportunity to hire this, I highly recommend you do it. It may cost a little bit extra, but the advantages are well worth it. This is the way the tilting hitch works. It swings all the way, actually, all the way to 90 degrees both ways. And it is operated off this pedal right here, which is the same pedal that the, the boom slews from. So to change the controls from the slew to the tilting hitch, you just use this button right here. So I've engaged that, and now we can move the boom independent of the machine and just by clicking the button back, we can now, again, use the tilting hitch feature. The other superb feature of this hitch is the quick release feature. And it operates off this little button right here. And it allows you to change the buckets. So drop the bucket, pick up another bucket without moving from the seat of the machine. So the way it works is quite simply is you just pick the buckets up off the ground tilt them to their flat and we're going to watch the little red tab as we disengage the buckets right here. That little red tab will open all the way up and as we drop the buckets back down on the ground the buckets will disengage from the actual hitch. To pick up the buckets you just do that in reverse so we've left the 
button disengaged here on the controls and I'm going to pick up the bucket. I'm going to swing the buckets back up and then I'm going to disengage that little tab. Watch the red tab on the quick hitch engage and lock the buckets in and then you're good to go again. So if you don't have the quick hitch, you'll have a manual hitch like this, which is much easier as a two-man operation. So on this side, you just remove the pin right here, then remove this handle here, and then you can drop the buckets on the ground, ready to change over onto a different bucket. To put the bucket back on, same thing, just in reverse. So pick up the bucket. You'll need to have a look through here and give the driver some instruction and line up the hole. Push the pin back in, put your safety back on. And there you have it. Final instruction in the cabin is that your throttle is here. So all the way down is full revs and up there is lower revs. Now, most of the day, when you're operating, you'll use the machine at full revs. You generally only go back to half or lower revs when you're changing buckets or you really need some slower, more precise control over the buckets. Right, now you know all about the EZ17. The first thing you're going to need to learn yourself when you hire the machine is how to get it off the trailer. So, here goes. First, undo the strap across the front. So you undo this shackle at the back. Now the straps off the front, chains off the back. Just jump in the machine and just push the machine forward enough to loosen off the chains at the front. So disconnect the chains. Now drop the ramps at the back. Make sure you don't lose the little pins. Now the machine is ready to come off the trailer. So there's only a few controls you need. To start with, start the machine, leave the red safety handle up to start. Push the red safety handle down to operate the machine. Now you're gonna to need to raise the buckets up off the trailer up a little bit more. Now bring the dozer blade all the way up. And now from there, you can just reverse the excavator straight off the trailer using these two joysticks right here. Just take it easy as you go over the edge here. There's nothing to worry about, but everything slower is just safer. And we'll just raise the buckets up to clear it of the trailer. And now we're clear of the trailer and ready to work. To put the machine back on the trailer, just do the same thing as taking it off, but in reverse. Make sure your buckets are set up like this so the strap can go over nice and easily. Make sure your dozer blades all the way up and just drive it straight up onto the trailer. Connect the chain at the rear. And you can stand the ramps up. There you go, safely loaded, ready to take back. Right, now you've got the operations and you know how to use it. There are some things that we need to tell you about when hiring this machine from DiggerMate. So I'm gonna walk you through some maintenance, some safety tips, and some troubleshooting on this machine. I don't want to tell you this to start with, but you do need to wear your seatbelt. Yep. Okay, the next one is you need to have the safety handle up to start the machine and down to operate the machine. So many times we get called up to say, Oh yeah, the machine's not working. You got the safety handle up? Yeah, I've got the safety handle up. Are you sure you've got the safety handle up? Yeah, I've got the safety handle up. Okay, so tell me where the safety handle is. The safety handle's down where it should be. No, mate. Put the safety handle up and you can start the machine. 
One of the most critical tips here is don't roll the machine over, goes without saying. Now pre to prevent that, you need to keep the buckets on the high side of the machine all the time when you're on a mound or on a slope. In the event you have to have the buckets on the low side, make sure you keep the buckets low to the ground so you can use the bucket to stop you from tipping over. Your dozer blade can be used for all sorts of things, but when you are digging, you should always have your dozer blade in the ground to keep you level and prevent the machine from rocking or tipping. The maintenance should be handled by the digger mate team before you get the machine, but in the event that you have the machine for multiple days, here are the tips. To start with, open the rear of the machine and make sure the air filter is clean all the time. It's really easy to get into and you just need to tap it out, blow it out or give it a shake. There's two water fuel separators in the back of the machine, one with a little yellow ring at the bottom. If the yellow ring comes up too high, you're going to need to twist that water fuel separator off and empty the whole thing and put it back on again. The, one, the main one in the middle has got a cap at the bottom. Just crack that cap, the water will come out first. Once you see the water all out, then do the cap back up and you're good to go. It is an engine, it needs oil. The dipstick is right in front of you as soon as you open that engine bay. So make sure you check the oil every morning before you start the machine or you could blow it up. Check the hydraulic fluid from the site, which is just under the driver's seat. Make sure you can see some hydraulic fluid in there and it's gonna be fine. If there's none, you'll need to top it up by taking the cap off the top and filling it through there. There's a heap of grease points. I think I counted 18 once and then I counted 19. Then I think there's actually 21 grease points. There's a lot of grease points on this machine. So you must grease the machine every day. These machines work most effectively and most efficiently when everything's lubricated. So make sure you lube up every grease point. Okay, so here's a couple of tips on operating. First, use the right bucket for the right job. The ripper is used to pull roots and concrete out. The 300 mil bucket is for trenching. The 450 mil bucket is for digging and the mud bucket is for moving bulk material. The machine is absolutely going to work to your best benefit if you use the right bucket for the right job. The dozer blade can obviously be used as a dozer blade to push material. It can also be used to level out the machine if you're sitting on a slope or working on a gradient. It can also be used to pick up the last little bit of material with the mud bucket if you turn the machine completely sideways and slew the boom the opposite direction. I'm gonna leave you with this final operational tip and it's one of the ones we most commonly get asked and that is how to dig a trench properly. Now there is a proper technique on how to do this, which is to start with, you map out your trench and then your first scoop is just a light little scrape across the top. Don't try and dig too deep when you're digging a trench. Always just do light scrapes across the top and then just go deeper and deeper, nice and lightly until you get down to the level that you need to get to. This will allow your trench to be nice and smooth and flat across the bottom. Once you've scraped off either side, move your machine back to its full boom length and start again. Scrape across the top and scrape down and down and down nice and smoothly till you get down to the level. What you don't want to do is take big scoops out of the trench. Taking big scoops out of the trench is most likely going to make the trench fall in on the side and collapse and you don't want that. Okay, that's it for the EZ17. One of the best all-rounders we have here at Diggermate and one of the best machines to jump on and have a go at even if you've never operated an excavator before. If you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe and share this video. And if you want more tricks and tips, you can search our YouTube channel. If you want to hire one of our machines, you can do so right now by clicking the link down below at diggermate.com. We are here to help you kickstart your next project. <laughs>